to our weather, which looks like Mother Nature, she's really setting the scene for this Halloween. Oh, if you like creepy, spooky weather on Halloween day. I don't, but it's okay. <laughs> It'll be great for the trick-or-treaters out there. <laughs> oh, it is going to be spectacular weather for it. The time is 6.20. As you're heading out the door, we're already starting to see a little bit of some creepy weather moving in. We're having some clouds this morning. On our KQ2 tower camera overlooking the beautiful city lights of St. Joseph, we also have a cold front that's going to be pushing through over the next several hours. It's already dropping temperatures to the lower 50s in places like Falls City and to Rockport. Ahead of a cold front, we're seeing temperatures in the middle to upper 50s across northwest Missouri and northeast Kansas. So parents, as you're heading out the door to drop your kids off at the bus stop or at school this morning, make sure they have a light coat or a jacket with them because the cloud cover and some drizzle is going to keep temperatures on the cool below average side today with temperatures only going up to the upper 50s to near 60 degrees before this cold front pushes through later on today. After being at 73 degrees yesterday for your Monday, we're going to be near average of our average high of 61 degrees for your Tuesday. And then we're going to kind of be on this roller coaster between average and below average temperatures as we wrap up the work week and go into the weekend. Like I said, it's starting to get a little spooky this morning on our KQ2 high resolution max satellite and radar thanks to the clouds that are moving in. And all of the Midwest for the most part is dealing with some high clouds this morning. Our cold front is again just to the north of us it's already beginning to sink south of us so as we go throughout your Tuesday in your KQ2 hour by hour forecast you may want to have the umbrella with you as well I'm not expecting widespread rain maybe some pockets of drizzle throughout the day as I break it down to the 9 a.m. hour at just in into St. Joseph we could see some light drizzle or some sprinkles heading into the noontime hour for lunch we're going to be remaining cloudy as the cold front advances south where we'll see our winds switch up to the north places into Cameron and chill coffee and Trenton you could see some pockets of drizzle heading into the four o'clock hour it's going to be breezy with those winds gusting up to 20 miles per hour still with some pockets of light drizzle over northwest Missouri heading into the nine o'clock hour it's going to be cloudy but cooler as temperatures are going to be dropping throughout the overnight hours the cloud cover is going to help temperatures be on the not so chilly side in the 40s, but it's going to be bone chilling weather as we go into our Halloween. So the mood is setting for us to have some cloudy, creepy, bone chilling weather for your Halloween temperatures for tomorrow will be topping out at 59 degrees. As you go into your trick or treating time for you kiddos, you're going to need probably the jacket. If you feel a little chilly as temperatures will be dropping from 55 degrees at 6 p.m. to 50 degrees by 8 p.m. So it's going to be beautiful, creepy, spooky, but also chilly. But don't forget, we had snow on Halloween last year, so you cannot complain. 60 degrees for your high today with those cloudy skies, pockets of drizzle, breezy conditions with those north winds gusting at 20 miles per hour. And in your all important KQ2 five to seven day forecasting. Again, I am expecting the spectacular weather to continue as we enter November. Again, scattered rain chances are in the forecast for the weekend. And a reminder, we fall back on Sunday morning. So one hour of sleep. But less daylight. But one hour of sleep. <laughs> so it's not bad. Okay, so the Pentagon.